Hello and welcome to this introduction to V-Ray for Revit. Today, we will show you how to set up V-Ray in Revit and get rendering. Be sure to stick around for other videos in the series that cover lighting and materials in V-Ray for Revit. Let's begin. Now that we've installed V-Ray for Revit, we can click on the V-Ray tab to enable V-Ray. Let's take a look at the V-Ray tabs one by one. First, from the View tab, we need to choose the Revit view that we want to render. Next are Render options where we can choose V-Ray Production, Interactive Render Method, or Real-Time Render, which is V-Ray Vision or Chaos Vantage. The Quality tab controls the overall image quality based on the predefined settings. By default, this is set to low for fast previews. We recommend using a high-quality preset for production. The default aspect ratio is crop region, but you can choose a custom one. The lighting tab contains natural environment light and artificial lights, which are disabled for now. After that is the assets category where we can control V-Ray assets appearance and override Revit objects and materials. Also, with Chaos Cosmos, we can download free 3D content from a huge online library. Next is the Camera tab, where we can change camera settings such as exposure and white balance. After that is the Render Settings category. From here, we can set global render settings and view specific setup. Finally is the Help tab. To enable V-Ray automatically next time we start Revit, we need to click on the Settings button, then the Licensing tab, and click on Obtain License on Startup. We recommend turning this on for individual users, but not when working in a company environment. The next thing is to choose the hardware for the rendering, then go to the channels to set the denoiser. We can choose NVIDIA AI denoiser or Intel Open Image denoiser, which help clear up the image we are rendering more quickly. NVIDIA AI denoiser will leverage the GPU, while Intel Open Image denoiser makes use of the CPU. Let's go to the render settings and start V-Ray Vision, which will give us a real-time experience. We can make changes in Revit, and they will be visualized right away. For example, if we change the lighting in Revit, Vision will update. To experiment with sun positions easily, we can use the Light Gen tool to generate them automatically. To do this, you need to stop Vision, Expand the lighting panel, find the tool, click on the Light Gen button, specify number of variants, and then Generate. Now we can use the one we like by clicking on it. The sun position will be changed automatically. Once we find the right sun position, we can save it as a Light Gen set. To populate our project, we turn to Chaos Cosmos, an extensive library of ready-to-use materials, HDRI skies, and 3D models. We just need to import them and we are ready to go. Let's start with downloading and importing a material which will appear in the Asset Editor. Now open the Appearance Manager dialog and click on the Pick Material tool to select materials from the project. Now. Drag the material from the Asset Editor to override the Revit material. Set the size if necessary. Next, let's import some 3D objects from Cosmos. Again, we just need to download the objects we like, import them, and set their position in the project. In addition, Cosmos models can also be used to replace existing Revit families. Once we are ready with the preparations, we can move on with V-Ray. To keep the interactivity, click on the Interactive Rendering button and the Render window will open. To add depth to the scene, we can enable Environment Effects. Also, if we want to use different types of lighting, 
we can open Cosmos and import an HDRI image. V-Ray will use the image to create lighting accordingly. Let's take a look at the windows that open for rendering. This is V-Ray Frame Buffer, or VFB. From here, we can easily adjust the final look of our render by adding color corrections with adjustment layers and much more. Also, we can save our images to our hard drive in many convenient formats. Now you're ready to render with V-Ray for Revit. Join us for our next videos that will cover lighting and materials.